Hey guys, what's up? So today I thought I would do a kind of review on what I think are the best and worst products uh, from Lush and I've tried a little bit of Lush's products. They have so many things. I have not tried any of their bath bombs or their bubble bars or anything like that. These are mostly uh, face and skincare related products and those are the kinds of videos I search for when I am looking for items from Lush because I'm willing to be more risky with the body things but with my face stuff I'm pretty like I want to do some research on it because my face is oily acne prone and very sensitive and sometimes it reacts to things I don't even know it's gonna react to so I have to be kind of careful on what I put on my face because it's so blemish prone and I have so many struggles with that <laughs> so hopefully this video will be able to help somebody out or keep them entertained for a little bit while you're like getting ready or something so let's go ahead and get into it so first I'm going to start off with the fresh face masks um, I have tried Odafix and this one is a blend of bananas vanilla ground almonds and oats to cool and nourish irritated skin this is the first one I got. Um, I got it when my skin was really like inflamed, irritated, tender to the touch. It was red and itchy and I read that oats are super soothing for that but I wanted something that was formulated to be a face mask. I didn't want to just slap oats on my face. Like I wanted something with oats as a base but with other things blended in that would all over help my skin. And this really helped me when I first used it, the, like the first time around. I actually picked up a second one and there's still some in here. And it's just a really fine, moisturizing, very gentle, exfoliating uh, paste, basically. And it smells really good, like it smells like you could eat it. First time around, it really, really helped me. Second time around, I don't really notice much difference. The other face mask I've tried is Love Lettuce, and these are uh, fresh face masks, if I didn't say that already, that you're supposed to keep them in the fridge. And Love Lettuce is empty, and this is a simple scrubby face mask to give normal to oily skin a radiant glow with polishing almond shells and soothing lavender oil. And this was really really scrubby. I think it was the almond shells and I know now that you're only supposed to use these fresh face masks two to three times a week but when I first got this I used it every single day and I think that was just way too much for my skin. It was really harsh and it kind of did reverse effects on my skin which kind of sucked but I paid for it and I didn't want it to go to waste so I made sure I used it just like with Odafix and um, it was a little too harsh so I'm probably not going to be repurchasing this again. I think this was like 7 or $8. All of them are usually 10 or under and they have a couple that are around like 12 to 13 but those are the ones I have tried. And then for face cleansers or face wash, wa <laughs> face washes, this one is called Herbalism. And this one is a gentle herbal cleanser with ground almonds to exfoliate and rice vinegar to mop up excess oil. Help has arrived for troubled skin. <laughs> and I definitely have troubled skin. So I did some research on this. I looked at a lot of reviews on Lush's website and watched YouTube videos and stuff like that. And a lot of people complained that it smelled bad, that it was too hard. There was a lot of cons, but there were a lot of pros as well. And a lot of people had said that this was so amazing that they were just able to ignore all of that stuff that they were complaining about. It worked really well in the beginning, but then towards the middle to the end-ish, I just started noticing it was way too harsh for my skin. It was just really exfoliating. I was using it day and night, and I was like, this is more of a once a day, maybe a three times a week type of face wash. And this one is a really fun green color, and I love this shade of green. Mine's all like slimy, usually it's much more hard and compact, but mine's all slimy because I kept it in the shower, and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm definitely going to wash my face in the shower, but I'm going to take better care of it, 
and wipe it off and not let like the shower water get inside even though it's sealed there's like this little crack so I've also tried fresh pharmacy which is like a bar style face wash like a soap and that had lavender oil in it and it was supposed to be very calming and soothing for the skin but that actually irritated my skin and broke me out more i just used it for my body i had no problems with it on my body so my face is just weird glomerina and this is our squishy pink cleanser inspired by mermaids which is kind of intriguing uh, contains calamine, aloe, and mineral rich seaweed to soothe sensitive skin. And this one's so cool. I just got it. So it has seaweed and this like pink bubblegum looking thing and it smells really fresh. It doesn't smell like the ocean or anything because there is a seaweed in there. It smells like really fresh and really good. Um, I used it twice. Once last night, once this morning. I really like it. It's kind of like a thick clay and it's not harsh at all and it leaves my skin feeling so clean but without feeling that dry and really like scrunched up feeling that like you can't move your face um and this mattifies my skin too which is super awesome so thank you to the people at lush who recommended this for me so for toners i've only tried their tea tree water and at first i got it in this little sample size and um I used it a lot to set my makeup and to spray my face throughout the day and uh, just kind of be like a refresher. I didn't really see a big difference with it as a regular toner and I was using a witch hazel toner at the time. So I was using witch hazel toner and this toner which is so not good. Like don't use a toner <laughs> on top of your toner to set your makeup because it was irritating my skin and I thought it was this but it was actually the witch hazel so stop using the witch hazel I ran out of this little guy I was so sad when I ran out so I went and I picked up the large bottle and this is the same exact same thing the tea tree water so you just you just spray and then it absorbs into your skin and it's great it's got grapefruit water and tea tree water so it's really great love this I haven't used witch hazel in a while just doesn't work well with my skin we have moisturizers and moisturizers are super important and these I only use lush moisturizers at night so after I've washed my face I've toned it um, I'll put these on and I only use them at night because I use a sunscreen moisturize moisturizer during the day and I don't need to use my sunscreen moisturizer at night and at night I like to have something a little more creamier a little more heavier so the first one I tried out is called vanishing cream and it's just this white kind of like milky really light and feathery moisturizer it's light as a feather <laughs> A lavender moisturizer that disappears once applied, transforming oily areas and blemishes into beautiful, balanced skin. And I did not realize until right now that I'm reading all of the ingredients at one time, but a lot of the things I was using in the past had lavender oil, and I just don't think that my skin meshes well with lavender oil. So this worked for me, but it wasn't the best. Skin's Shangri-La. And this is definitely a heavier moisturizer. It's very rich and very... It almost reminds me of custard, like custard you would eat. That It reminds this, just slathered all over the face. Sculpture, you can just see all my fingerprints in there. But you only need a dab and you just dot, 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 dot. And I also put a dot right here and right here underneath my eyes because I don't have an eye cream. Then I have this little guy, it's super cute, it's called Beautiful, and this is a shower gel, and it says you've got to get up every morning with a smile on your face and show the world how beautiful you are. And it also has little bits of shimmer in there, so you just feel sparkly and beautiful. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is their samples. The Lush employees will give you some samples to try out and they're pretty generous sized samples. Three of them are hair samples. One I got yesterday and this is the R&B Leave-In Hair Moisturizer. Uh, these are the same sample. Um, it's H. Suan Wen H-A-A Wen Ha 
hair treatment. <laughs> so these again are generous samples. They're very nice. It's filled all the way to the top. It smells so good and I'm just gonna use these to leave in my hair. And then the last thing that they gave me is this Mask of Magnum Inti face mask. And this is a clay face mask and it has little bits of, I'm pretty sure again, ground almond shells in there. And it smells very minty and I'm pretty sure this has lavender oil in it as well. And now that I'm sitting here talking about everything and looking back on my life, the oil just isn't the best for me and for my skin. So I actually stopped using this and it dried up a little bit on me. This is the self-preserving kind. Of, I think they have a fresh face mask version, but I didn't like this. It was really like drying and harsh and just didn't work well for me. It's all trial and error. I've adopted this new life quote that is, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> And it applies to so many things in life. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful in any way, shape, or form. If you've been interested in any of these products, you get to see what they look like through the computer screen. You got a little description of them and how they reacted with my oily, acne-prone, sensitive skin. So yeah, thanks again for watching. See you later. Bye. <laughs>